Hi guys and welcome back. I'm Pope John Paul and we're here with another episode of our Imperator Rome Mastodon campaign. We are playing, uh, we are in part 6 and as you can see we are planning on uh, taking out Thrace. Which is actually really Im expanded, like it's got, I did not realise it take this bit. And I plan to, yeah, we've got a large invasion force ready to invade Thrace and I'm planning to probably just take it out because I'd like to go eastwards and get into Asia and I mean they are backed by the Seleucids in Egypt Egypt holding a little bit of land here it's occupied by Phrygia and the Seleucids and but they're a long long way away they're doing their own they've probably got their own problems they're actually at war with Parthia yeah that's interesting oh a different Parthia there's two different Parthias now in the world which is interesting and um and these people they're allied with, but I, I think we could probably take both of them out. I've got a good uh, manpower, a good amount of manpower, and I've got some decent sized army. So I'm going to declare war. Seleucids will become the war leader, and now we have stopped getting a lot of our... We've stopped getting a lot of our... all of our trades. Um, grain we can get from... I'll just get it from Laconia. And then we'll sort out the rest of the trade routes in a minute. And you can go into there. You can go there. We'll press play. Then we'll bring up this force to go into there. So the objective is to take this province. And then we get the war score. We'll start to tick up in our favor. Favor. Oh, God. I can't even see fav favor. There we go. And, um, yeah, that is the plan. If you uh, guys have any other place that you'd like me to take out next please do let me know I am very open to suggestions and we have a I'm gonna bring this army out to deal with that you can go up there in the north we will wait on more civic power to um, to be able to do more trade routes because we are going to need all the trade routes we can get we are also taking quite a bit of attrition due to a uh, but we should be okay that's probably where I'm gonna lose most of my men I imagine and manpower is probably down to this attrition that we've got. But um, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. The supply weight of this is 19. So if we go here, we'll be okay. And if we go there, we're even better. So we'll go there. And we'll go and take Anios as well. Which is in the next region, but after we've taken this one, we've taken the fort here, all these regions will just convert to ours. Because that's the good thing about forts. So yes, we will take Thrace. I'm not sure how big their army is. Um, probably not as big as ours. I probably could have a look. 42, and I have 77. Yeah, they are very much smaller than me. We've taken... Oh, we've just taken this region here. Excellent. We will move up here. Take this region from them. Now we have an option to take another trade route. I'm going to put iron. Oh, well, we have iron. Quite a lot of iron. Um, olives? Could do olives. Furs. Furs to help a bit, but not much. Vegetables. Vegetables, I think, is what I'm going to go with. Supply limit. That's always helpful. So do I want to send you, anyway? Loyalty. You're a good general. Um, or you... I'm going to send Demandes, because he's not of my... He's not either in either factions. Any of he's not a, a Macedonian. That's what I was looking for. He's not a Macedonian. Oh, and Thrace is coming around the back. Well, we'll send this army to go and deal with it. How big's their army? Twenty thousand, and I have a twenty-five thousand army here. They have sent a ten thousand army to come and deal with me. That's definitely not going to be enough, and they're actually sending the army in. Elias can have trade for a bit. I'm not too phased about them having trade. Um, I will also bring in livestock from... I'll bring it in from my own lands, I think. Um, and then you... Go deal with them. And you go deal with them. It would be the case that both are needed to help. We're going to have a big battle here. Huge battle, actually, and we won there. Excellent, right? And now we win this battle. Okay, now we go in. And kill. Excellent, right? We're gonna win that. Um, siege ability. There we go. There's the pop up. I would like. 
Um, can we just pause it a moment just to have a quick look down all of these. I'm going to go with... Um, I'll go with Siege Ability. Make Sieges quicker. Always of help. Uh, you go there, and then you also go there. So one of the armies is pretty beat up. The other one is in a fairly good condition. So we've got two places that are starving. You're going to go to Amphipolis. You're a mercenary army. Manpower is looking good. We should be able to just keep on uh, keep on moving on with that. Not really sure where I'm going. That oh, just trade routes not even cost us stuff at the moment. Then so I could just we'll do that. Yeah, it's not even. Oh no, it is costing me civic power. I'm just getting a lot of civic power quite quickly. Um, you go take them out then because you keep avoiding them, and you keep avoiding that. Why are we not... What's left of Redope then that's not been taken? Are you in this war? No. So what's left of Redope that we haven't taken? Oh, this is part of Redope, but you don't hold any of it. Oh, actually you hold that bit. That's it, right. So we're going to send... This, this fleet down here, this can then come across here. Actually, keep you, I don't know, where, where's a good spot? Just keep you there. So yeah, we are, we're doing okay. Um, if you guys are enjoying the um, episode, please remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already to the channel. It really appreciates it really uh, helps the channel grow and I appreciate all the support very very much. Uh, we want the 10,000 army please to go and take this random little island that is apparently still under their control. So we'll go over there. Take that quickly and then we are good to go. Thrace is also now just sieging down the rest of my territory which is not nice. So yeah, I might be able to take... I don't know how much of this I'll take. I'm certainly going to try and get up to here and um, try and take that all that in the um, peace treaty, but it could be maybe a little less. Because I think they've... Um, not lim limited as such, but they've w weakened what you can take from uh, in the peace treaty. Now we're on 3% war score and that should start ticking up. Which is excellent. We're going to win this battle here. Just like so. And now we bring you back onto the ship. Tribute seizes. Oh, they can't play their tribute anymore. Okay. So we've done that. Argos, yep, you can have that. I will probably integrate you very, very soon. Um, if not in, in this episode. I don't know. Actually, I didn't see how happy you were with me. How happy are you with me, Argos? Mm. They need a lot more opinion before they, they convert. Convert. Convert's not the right word either. And I nearly just. Let them take that. Well, they have taken that C. Damn it. Okay, right. So we've done that. We can now go and take this city. So while we're doing that, we'll see what's happening. Phrygia has shattered a little bit, but not enough to really damage it. Um, Rome. Looks like it's getting his ass handed to it by Umbria, but I, I don't know. It's kind of retaking the land that it's lost. Um, I could get iron or leather. Actually, leather would be quite handy. It's hideous. Um, yeah, I'll take the popularity. Uh, hit. Um, you go over there and deal with them. We're having a lot of places to starve. Okay, we've had a daughter. Excellent. Your manpower is still fairly good. My manpower is not so good. I'm gonna. I don't know how that's really happened, but we've lost a lot of men very, very quickly. Probably. What is my max manpower? It's actually 180,000. We probably should um, do something about that. Yeah, my manpower is not looking so healthy now. Then, what could I take in a peace treaty currently? 
I can take this, this, this. Actually, it's what is it allowing me to take? Wouldn't even let me take that currently. Which is interesting. Um, and then you go over there. Is it because the Seleucids... Well, there's quite a lot of um, Parthian Bactria during the war as well. So, actually, I don't really know. Um, suggest. I can take those from them. Which is interesting. But you wouldn't let me take anything else. Hmm. Interesting. Um, keep marching. I might have to do it because I am running out of manpower very, very quickly. It's also quite interesting that I can only take uh, coastal cities. I'm going. I'm going to take the peace treaty of what it suggested. Oh, and that's now even worse. Um. Yeah, keep coming across here. It's going to take them a long, long time to... 14,000. Right, we should, be, we should be able to beat both of these armies and then we can deal with um, a peace treaty. Very, very simple. Excellent, right. We are victorious again. Alexander would be proud. We don't think we've lost too many battles yet in this campaign, but I could be wrong there. Right, so we now have about 25,000 men there. Peace suggest we could take all of that. Um, or if I pause, peace suggestion suggest. That's interesting. So it's... Hmm. I'd like it to. Hmm. Hmm. Now it's not letting me select them. That's interesting. It's something that broke broken with this game. I think. But hey, we'll take these random bits, I guess, and go for that. That is what we'll do. So we've expanded a bit into Thrace, but not as much as I would have liked. But that can't be uh, complained with, really, I guess. Um, research. We'll go with, I guess, war score. I could help. We will do war score. Because I could help with future wars. Thrace now needs a governor. We shall give it... I don't know if I really want you as a governor, then. Maybe you... Or just you. I might just put you in charge. You're a fairly good governor. Governor. Lovely. Right. Actually, you just get back on the boat. I'll just put you on the boat. And then... Have we got two armies here? This is two armies, yeah. Um, one can go to Lamia. I'm pretty sure we have another army. Yes, we do, down here. Not sure who I was supposed to be going to war with next in this part of the world. Probably uh, Messenia. And I will just ready the men. Well, get the fleet ready. Not even the fleet. Um, get the fleet there, put it, drop this army here. And then we are going to get the manpower up. Because the manpower is very, very low. Oh, Rome's expanded. Excellent. It beat back Umbria. And, uh, I mean... It probably could do with a bit of hurrying up, to be honest. We aren't too far into the campaign, but we are... I mean, Rome, I expect, would be bigger. I've nearly united um, all of this area, and I've definitely been able to beat um, any Roman army back. What size is their army? 44 cohorts as well. Mine's 77, but I've got no manpower, unfortunately. So I will spend more money on training camps. There we go. Money has been spent. 
now our borders are more secure. We have nearly access to the um, to Asia, but not quite yet. So we can next declare war on them. I'm not actually taking. Yeah, I'm not even taking all of Redope, so I can actually just use that cast spell again. But we have a truce with them till five five one seven. Is that the same with me? Yes, five one seven. So through six years. That's okay. We can wait six years to go to war with them again, and in that time I can go to war with someone in Greece if needs be. If my manpower hurries up. But if not, then if not. Just, we'll have to do our thing. Which is fine. So yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the uh, series, and if so, then please leave a like and subscribe. If you're uh, wanting to see another Imperator campaign, as since I finished my Empire Divider campaign, please also let me know in the comments. I am, uh, I've got a gap basically in my schedule of what I would like to, uh, what I upload to YouTube, and I need that filling really now for next week, or I just, I, I just have to decide on something myself and whether it will either be Rome Two or Imperator, or it could be an entirely different uh, Total War game. That is very much possible. Um, I was debating doing a possible Thrones Britannia uh, campaign. If you would like to see that, then also let me know. Ooh, income uh, up by 50% for commerce. That's great. Why are we still losing? Oh, manpower is still going down because we have an army that still needs retraining. All of these are at max strength, though. So that's good. So it's just this army that needs to get back to full strength. So it's 11. Oh, it's a big army. Um, 14... Uh, 20, 25, this is the 25 stack. Yeah, that's going to take a long time before we get any manpower coming in then. But, um, but yeah, so I really have... Well, yeah, the plan is now to uh, take out the rest of Thrace, Thrace, I think, and then take out the rest of Greece, and then after that we'll have to... If I declared war on one... This is what I was wondering the other day. If you declare war on... Yes... On one client state, you bring in Phrygia, but you don't actually bring in all the other client states. So it's a smart thing to do, though Phrygia has a large army currently, and it is at war with Egypt. It looks like it's winning its war with Egypt. Um, no, you can't. I don't want it to give anyone uh, access, but trade? I'm open to trade. Money is always useful. Um, we will do... Um, yeah, we'll do province and ports another another thing. So we'll have to wait a little bit and um, get some civic power before we can then decide on what material we'll import. I think if I choose anything, I will be it will be probably some like wine, possibly if I can uh, find anyone that likes me that will give me wine. You might Carthage might, but again they also might not. I'm going to have to improve my opinion with one or the other. Might be Carthage might be a good idea since they've taken Sicily. All of Sicily. Um, might be a good idea to improve my relation with these guys. So we can improve it by 37. It's not really that good. Not as good as it could be anyway. Rome has... It's got Castellized in anyone. Okay, it's got Castellized in Umbria. Puglia, Sepia, and Lucania. Okay. So it's got a fair amount more expanding can do, but not. Um, it's not got a vast amount, and it really needs to hurry up because lots of these uh, tribes up here will start to ally themselves up with each other, ready for when Rome arrives. And then Rome will have to uh, fight about four or five tribes just to get a tiny bit of territory, which is just ridiculous. And I didn't want to build, I wanted to trade in olives is actually quite good as well I would like wine though we can always change we can always change what we're importing yes we will get olives from there for now so we've got a really good general and he's fairly good at holy stuff as well is and he's fairly good at oratory or this guy I'm gonna send you again because you're you bow and oh be a both you bow and actually I'll send the older one send the old man and then we have you nearly 
up to strength, and then we are good to bring in manpower. Hey, we are now actually bringing in plus manpower. Excellent. And our maximum is 201,000 manpower. It'll take 15 years to get to that. I don't think I'm getting to that anytime soon, because I will want to go to war long before uh, 15 years is up. Thrace will definitely need taking out again. Um... Yes, we shall see. Seleucids, are you at war with anyone? No, you've got Cassus Belize on Antipatane, and Gara here, and Maoya. The Mao. Oh gosh, they've actually expanded into uh, India. They are retaking the lands that they lost. Okay, so we gain a bit of popularity. Excellent. Yeah, so there's tiny little, tiny little bit cut off here that so that Indian state's just surrounded by Greeks now. Poor them. Um, decimation. I'm going to go with this one because I can't afford to lose the manpower. I don't even have uh, that much manpower, unfortunately. So I'm going to lose some popularity, but I gain loyalty with that general. So I guess that's a plus. But yeah, so we are just waiting now, waiting for stuff to happen. So let's put it up, we'll put it up to five speed while we wait. Might as well see what happens. Another auto save. Another year is over. Nope. Don't want your military access. Hopefully we don't get like a million pop-ups now. But we're getting about 3,000, 4,000 manpower. Won't be long till we can uh, kick someone else's ass. I'm not... Ooh, a son. I think I've got enough sons now. So we've got Philip, we've got Cassander, and then... Oh, this is a daughter, I think. Or is it? Oh, actually, no, this is another boy. Not a good idea. Um, no, I'm going to have you lose some loyalty for that. I don't really want Epirus to hate me. Okay, religious advance, omen power is up. See, if we declare war on Phrygia, we bring in a lot of people. But if you declare war on one of their states, you bring in just Phrygia. It's a smarter idea, I think. See, like, 11... Ooh. Local power of Kerenkia fold, uh, folded. Uh, it's given up then the city of... Ka oh, okay. So, basically, Egypt threatened war and they got what they wanted. Interesting. Can I do the same? Because I know that is possible. Relation. Kovac. Threaten war. I don't have a Casus Belli, so I can't do it. If I get one, then I can just threaten them. I'm going to just lower it by one so I can just make a decision on what I would like. Um, monthly war exhaustion, possibly. Um, aggressive expansion. We don't really um, expand too aggressively that we need to bring that down. Um, I might do monthly wages for characters. Brings in a bit more money then. And um, we just got a gift from these people. Um, I'm going to... Who are you allied with? If I declare war on you, you bring in just them, so that's not a bad move to take them out. So if we need to send you somewhere that gets no attrition, we send you there. 14,000, we now get, um, we have now in manpower, that may actually be enough. And our maximum has come down from 201,000 to whatever that is. Okay, we have barbarians, brilliant. Um, Excellent, we've got more trade. So we're now going to have starving population over here. Not good. But I'm sending this army over, so we'll deal with it. Yes, you pillage me, okay. How's my native land doing? It's doing okay. I have no idea which of these is actually the strongest tribe. I know, I know of this uh, tribe because of Boudicca and her... Rebellions against Rome, and I know of this one. Oh no, some guy died. We'll just sort this out quickly, and then we'll go. I'll go back over there. Um, yeah, sure. You, because you're like doing stuff. Where are you going? You're going here. Um, but yeah, we'll let them. Bar we'll sort of the barbarians. Parisia. These guys are. Oh, are these not the same guys as? There's two different Parisias now. Prisia, I would assume, are the guys from pa well, from Paris. 
Um, yeah, please just keep sorting out the manpower. Our religious power is not great either, so soon we're going to run out of uh, stuff. You c oh, and you can slowly colonize Ireland. I didn't re I didn't realize. I thought Ireland had like loads of states and well, and tribes in it, but no, apparently not. Okay, we're now sorting out the attrition here. And the attrition, we're sorting out the uh, the um, barbarians. Excellent. And now we can send you. I'll send you here, because then you're not really a problem. This is a constant uh, barbarian uh, camp, so I might want to build like a fortress here, which I may do. I might do that in a bit. I want to bring in a bit more money from marketplaces and another training camp at Stoby. And then I will build a fortress at here. That's quite a good place to build a fortress. Cuts off the um, uh, the sort of this pass here that they've got to go through. It means they have to come further south if they want to uh, deal with me, which is where most of my armies are in, are in the south. Um, this army can go... I need somewhere that won't get attrition. If I put it on the boat... Actually, no, because that's definitely going to get attrition. I'll just go like that. So we'll do that. And then while we do that, we can... Oh, Carthage, do you like me enough now to... I can declare war on these guys? Okay. Anyway, Ar Ar Argos, I'd like to improve my relation with you, I think. Oh, Thrace has got a, um, a problem. It's got a... Um... A pretender problem, I think. It might... Oh, yeah, that's a... Oh, no. I thought there was a revolt going on, but no, it's just when I right-click on it, it changes colours, like this. Don't know why. Should probably just keep it, like... Um, that's technically the one I should have it on, political map mode. Have it on that one, instead of terrain. But, hey. Doesn't really matter. Um, anyway, we've got an invention we can do. Um, and I will do... Maybe research points... There we go. Research points make my research efficiency efficient, uh, efficiency better. And then we'll go for some of these uh, slave outputs and tribal outputs to try and make it better. But we will try and uh, do one more war before we uh, wrap up this episode. We are. I want to keep these episodes as not too short, but not too long. Got to get it just right. Hope you, if you guys are enjoying it, and if you want to see like a, a longer episode, then please also let me know. Um, basically, the more um, the more you put in the comments and you say that you want or something like that, the more likely I am to do it. So with this, I actually get IDs up. I don't know if I like that. I'm gonna keep it off. It's gonna annoy me if I see the ID. Um, so if we could declare war, we'd do it. You, you're 1,000. Yeah, I'm going to just go to war with you guys. You really are not that strong. Just take Laconia. Um, go in there. You're going to just take that. And then bring this fleet round here. Good to go. And then we have basically destroyed, apart from Ellis and... Oh, you own Arcania. Um, you own this. Aetoli is gone then. Wow. Unlucky them. So we'll... I don't know where they're going. <laughs> oh dear, this ar this army is now trapped. It's it's got nowhere to go. Um, yeah, build a build another fortress in Amphipolis. Make it uh, n number two. Number two. Um, you go up there and go and kill that army off, please. And then we are. I'd really annoyed that like blockading a port doesn't. Uh, I mean, it, this isn't a port, but like blockading a fortress doesn't help um, quicken how quickly you siege it out. Where are you going? How big? I mean, Arcani has yeah six. Of that it's not even got enough to replace its army. Once I've uh, in manpower, once I destroy this, yep, yeah, we'll make become friends. I'm not going to become rivals with you. I'm sure it's the same with Messenia as well. Yeah, they have 
five cohorts and they can't actually replace all their cohorts when I killed their army. So that's unfortunate, but hey. You shouldn't fight people like Macedon, who have manpower for days. Why well, I say that, we're... Our manpower right now is not as strong as it could be, though it is now back up to 200,000 maximum. Excellent. And for some reason, Xenonids hate me, probably because they have... You're really bad. I don't really want to give you the job. You have it, sure. Okay, we've just won a lot of... won a lot of battles. Um... You go here, take this. What would you give me in the peace tree? I'm not. I'm gonna try and get more. You would give me that. Okay, okay. Has declared war on us. Prepare for battle, Macedonia. I might be ending the war then. Can I not get that as well? No, I can't. I can't get that if I... Okay, suggest. Reset. Because I'd like to go that, that, that. I can't get that. Very strange. Why can't I do that? Anyway, we're going to end end that. Get in popularity. And we're now going to go to war with... Um, With these guys, basically, with um, Phrygia. Interesting. And Athens. I'm going to take them out. Have I got Master? Oh no, I haven't got this. But And I haven't got that. I'm just going to keep fighting, basically. So we're now going to war with Phrygia. It was expected. I wonder if they'll give military access to any of these. Possibly not. No, nope, they're not giving me the track access. That's good. So I can't get to my lands from the east yet. And then Athens for some is now. What are they even fighting for? I'll take Achaea. They want to take Achaea. Well, you're not going to get it. I'm not allowing you to get it. Um. Anyway, I would like. Maybe professional soul, uh, professional training or siege ability. Oh no, I was going to go for national slave output. So we'll do that, and then we get, and then I'll go for military stuff because my military tech could always do with being better. And then you go and take Athens, and then we're good to go. Uh, I can send. <laughs> I might do this. Um, I'll send you off to. <laughs> To Ellis. Uh, I'm sending my uh, captured people off to Ellis. That's, that's quite funny, actually. You're not worth it. Oh, okay. So we've got all these little islands we can take from Phrygia. Which I may well do, because I don't really want them to keep holding them. We hold these ones, at least. Um, yeah, they might take that from me, but uh, Athens might take that from me, because they hold these two. But I could not care. It's one tiny little island end of the day it's not gonna matter who holds that um yeah we'll just wait we'll wait we have a disloyal character general oh not good um i'm going to bribe you i'm sorry that i have to do that but i can't have you an automated general just walking around oh yes i won this guy won well that's the first time that's ever happened and i got stability for it well that's good and everyone likes me because of it as well. Excellent. Right. Now we're going to build more manpower so we get... Well, build more stuff that gives us manpower. So we'll do that. Excellent. We are... We're doing fairly well. Let's have a look what's going on. Phrygia has no chance. I am not going to let them. Are they, who else are they at war with? They're probably still at war with Egypt. They're at war with Syria Cole. Oh, these people. Well... That's unfortunate. I should ally up with Egypt again. If I can. Can I ally up with you again? At war, competing power. Yeah, you just don't like. Don't like that I probably broke that alliance. And that was, it was a uh, event 
triggered one as well, so that's not even that's not good either. And all of these people join the war. Let the looting be gentle, because it's 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 um it's Athens. It's gonna become one of my loyal states. Yeah, you just take control. What can I get from the peace treaty? Actually nothing. They wouldn't make peace. Interesting. Well, we'll just take more of your land. Who's this? Illyria Grecia. They just look like two land tier reskinned. Oh, and the Seleucids are gonna break up by the looks of it. Or they've got pretender problems. I'm really not sure why that comes up. Like Thrace hasn't had any problems yet. Unless it just means that there's a change in like leadership already. And Argos would win that war. It's because it's got no it's got no general. The fridge is not even a putting generals onto its uh, armies. That's very strange. So actually, I don't know if I want to... We'll rectify that. Is this my heir? Oh, this is my primary heir, yeah. His loyalty is not great. <laughs> I could be... I'm going to be a rival with my son. Oh, gosh. It, that's kind of funny, actually. Um, you go there, please. Go and take this land. Yep. I, me and my son hate each other so much that we're rivals. Epirus. Yep, you just do that. I'm going to have to promote... Um, oh, and then my navy's just got crushed. My navy just got crushed by fridges. I should have looked at how big their navy was in comparison. 32. Okay, where's my fleet? Did it? Did any of it survive? No, my fleet did not survive that that at all. Well, anyway, I'll build a new one here. Quickly. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten ships to start with, and then can we build any here? No, we can't. We can't build anything here. Brilliant. And then we can we can move on to this island. Where are you going? Don't know. Where are you going? Not a clue. Anyway, can I sue for peace? I don't really want to carry on this war with Phrygia. They're kind of just in my way. Where are... Oh, they're going over here. Okay, so actually I should go this way and... Can I get military access? Splendid. Access? No, I can't. And then... I'm... Losing something else. Thebe is starving. Oh, okay. And a general. Okay, yes, because first Nautica. Um, you take control. So we'll do that, and then we'll pause, because a lot of things have just popped up. Uh, my primary heir, I... I'll bribe him. I'm bribing my own heir. That's what it's come to. Anyway, what does this... No, his loyalty is actually going up, so that's good. Um, I would like to do hostile attrition. That's good. And then I want to get like try me in discipline and stuff like that. Because that would really, really help. And oh I've actually put my air in charge of Um in charge of the Navy. Oh well. Um that's all we can do in buying stuff. So we'll do that for now and then we'll take this slot and we'll go back here. You're going to go there, sign the peace. They still say no. I'm sure this is ticking up, isn't it? How much does this tick up then? It's just 23 of it. It's because of the, um, me um, just defending Achaia, basically. It's such a strange thing to go, for them to go for. But anyway, anyway guys, we're going to have to end the episode there. I am sorry that... Um, that we haven't really done as much as I'd hoped for, and like taking Thrace, I'd have liked to have taken a lot more so we could go to war with Asia. But I mean, but it's possibly for our uh, for the best since Phrygia has gone to war with us. We can um, we don't have this Thracian territory which then have to try and defend this go, and we may have to defend it in future wars. But um, for now, we can just fight it over in the Greek islands here, and then we can uh, take the fight to them in a future episode. But yeah, if you've enjoyed the episode, please remember to like and subscribe. It really, really helps the uh, channel. And uh, until next time, guys, I will see you guys later. Bye for now.